Hi, it's Cara and today is Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is a tag series created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and currently hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tones. I'll leave all the links down below. This week, this month actually, is Top 5 Wednesday Rewind where we pick our favourite topics from previous months. Um, ones we haven't done before or ones we haven't done in a long time I want to revisit and we'll talk about those. So today I'm talking about my top five favourite character names. These are obviously in no particular order, as always, um, and I have picked all of these because I like the way their meaning fits within the story. So let's get started. At the number one spot we have Mia Corvair from Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Um, Mia is just a beautiful character and her name really works within the story. Corvair obviously meaning crow, they have the house sigil of the crow and it really represents Mia's character so that multiple layers of meaning really work well for me and also Mia Corvair just sounds really pretty. So I love it. Then we have Paige Marnie from The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I think Paige works really well because her name gives you an automatic idea of where she's from and how that ties into her story. So she's um, Irish, which in this story, living in London, is a big no-no. And obviously Paige Marnie is a very, it's an anglicised version of a very Irish name. Um, and that really works to, like it's a very good use of a name as a descriptor, but in like a realistic way. Like it very clearly solidifies her as having a certain type of, not personality, but like fitting into a certain niche in the story. And I think it does that really, really well. Then we have Miffany Thomas in The Rook. This is the, the funniest one because her name is actually spelt Mafanwi, but for some reason it is very specific in this series that it's actually Miffany, not Mifanwi. <laughs> She's very much like, no, my name is Miffany. I think her parents mispronounced it or something when she was a kid, and that's a huge part of her character. Um, Mifanwi is a Irish name, often people go by Miffy, and then she's Miffany <laughs> and I just it's such an interesting name and the fact that there's such an emphasis placed on the fact that it's mispronounced I just love it so good this is also a great book and I just realized it says in the back soon to be a major tv series developed by Stephanie Meyer and Lionsgate I need to look that up because this series is great then we have Cyanite from the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin Cyanite is one of the um what are they called I am having a blank and I can't remember what they're called. She's one of the trained origini at the university, I think it's called, the place. And they all take names based on like rocks and stuff. So our main guy is Alabaster, obviously, and she's Cyanite, which is another like geo kind of name. And I really like the role that names play in this story. I don't want to give too much away, but names are really strong focus in this story and I think Cyanite has one of the best so yes and then finally because I can never not talk about this book we have Laszlo from uh Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor Laszlo is our main character and his name is Laszlo Strange and he is the librarian and it just the way the fact that his name is strange he was called strange because he is strange and then it just all links back in it's such a brilliant use of naming of characters for a book. It's so good. Lenny Taylor does a great job with names. They're always so evocative and I really, really like that. So yes, that was a super quick video. Thank you for watching this Top 5 Wednesday. Comment down below what your favorite character names are and I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks, bye.